perfect. Thank you so much for joining CIY. Thank you Appreciate so much. Eh? Thanks a lot. And you um, started your business buying and selling secondhand cell phones. Mm. And now you've got them in markets or in retailers such as Edgar's, Jets and CNA. How mm. did Rewear come about? So yeah, Rewear is um, it's a South African brand. It's a South African company. Um, my origins are Spanish, but I have been living here for, for quite a while. Uh, going to nine years, my wife is, is South African. So um, Notando Molechetti, that was co-founder with me, we started uh, on the buyback of the phones with a company called Zwipit in South Africa. It's, it's a European company uh, based in Spain. We started mm -hmm. basically buying back the phones from, from people. So you have all cell phones that are lying there on your, at your place, and then we will offer money um, the reality is that actually uh, very fast we saw that what people really wanted was to buy those phones instead mm -hmm. of selling those more. There is a, a, a big trend of handing over to the next, yes, you know, down. To, uh, handing down, exactly. Yes. So, so, you know, to your children or to a friend or... Mm -hmm. um, and then we started receiving a lot of calls in terms of can, can we buy those, those used phones. Mm -hmm. So we switched the model. We, we, we broke out from, from the European uh, company that we were working with, and then we started Rewear. We started sourcing internationally um, very high quality phones and selling into retail with one year warranty and everything, you know, very, very, very high quality, yeah. all tested, all original parts. And, and from there we grew. We started with the Edcon Group, uh, I think it was 14 stores in, in November 2015. Mm -hmm. Um, and that has been growing now we are in around 160 170 wow. yeah. um, deploying the, the, the rest of it um, we sign uh, JD JD group as well wow. so pretty soon we'll be also in, in incredible connections and hi-fi Corp wow. um, discussions with uh, with mass Mart, so macro and, mm. and game and with operators so we, we, we're starting to get a lot of traction in in retail in yeah. South Africa but what we have done also is to is to uh, take the, 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 the concept internationally. So yes. we're now attacking Africa. We're going to be in, in Kenya and Mozambique, uh, in Lesotho and, and others. And then we have set also an international platform. So um, we have now presence in Hong Kong and we have presence in the Philippines where we do a lot of the testing and, and of the mm. phones and then we can surf the rest of the market. Yes. So going to Europe in, in Spain launching in September. So it has been quite an intensive um, yes. exercise of, of growth, wow. but very successful. People yeah. need that, that uh, affordable yeah. uh, smartphone Absolutely. top of the range. You know, everyone wants it. Yeah. And what challenges do you have um, trying to break into other markets like throughout Africa? Mm. Well, uh, uh, the African continent is it's, it's difficult. No? It's, mm. uh, and, and every country is very specific. So mm. um, First, you need to, to know someone in the market that is going to be able to help you because we provide a one-year warranty yeah. that needs to s be served in country. We yes, can't bring yes. the phones back here. and sure. so, so that is the first challenge, to find, this, to find someone that actually can help you and support. And normally that person or that, that company will take also the distribution and all the, all the clearing and, and importing documents and then the yeah. regulatory requirements. I think that the challenge is that the, the, the pre-owned market has had a bad, bad reputation in yes, general. Yes. In the past, a lot of people tried to do it in Africa mm -hmm. and it was very, very you know, uh, low quality devices. Yeah. So that uh, breaking that yeah. perception has so been a challenge. So how do you educate the market? Um, mm. when, because you started as a certified pre-owned cell phones. Mm. And how do you educate the market? So, um, uh, well, we do. We try to do a little bit of uh, of digital media um, and 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 different campaigns, PR as well, mm. um, so so that people see that actually, you know, it's 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 a serious business. It's certified. Yes. It's not yeah. just just pre-owned. Um, but then the I think that the presence in retail has been critical for us. So when you go um, with someone like Edcon. Who, who started as a partner yes. that gives you a reputation Absolutely. that gives you uh, you know it's it's mainstream it's retail mm. it's there it's nicely presented so so I think that that, ha that has helped a lot when your business became self-funded you then uh, wanted some uh, uh, working capital assistance mm. and uh, banks declined you for that surely banks uh, uh, are only keen to lend money to companies like yours mm. well no really? <laughs> answer it is surprises no. me 
Yeah, banks, um, you know, are very risk averse. Um, any startup mm. with less than, than five years trading, it's going to be very, very, very difficult to get uh, to raise some funding, to get a loan. Mm. We didn't even have an overdraft. Um, mm. Even so with a proven model overseas, you still no, no. It was uh, um, they wouldn't even listen to you. you know? wow. So uh, you can find a few uh, trade financing houses that take more risk um, yeah. with with entrepreneurs, and that's where we started. And venture capitalists. And yeah. uh, exactly, and VC. Mm. Um, and then, but. I think that the, 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 the lucky part in South Africa is that there are a number of, of uh, companies that are big enough that have been in the industry of, uh, and they, they were entrepreneurs in the cell phone industry, mm -hmm. and they're actually quite happy to fund this type of ventures. So in the end, through the industry, you can, if, if your model is good, you will, you will find yeah. the funding. Yeah. More expensive, but... Um, yeah. How do you think we can uplift entrepreneurism in South Africa? Hmm. Um, I think that they, they, in South Africa, I find a lot of initiative in terms of entrepreneurship. Um, a lot of people out there trying. Uh, I think that there are two elements missing, which is first is access to funding. Mm -hmm. um, I know the government does, does efforts and there is some funding available, probably not well advertised, probably not easy to access. Um, mm -hmm. the, the process is also a little bit tedious. Um, so I think that there is an element on, on, on helping with seed funding. And then the second one is also more mentoring and helping yeah. uh, from people with the real experience. So you have your products in the retailers as well as having it uh, online on e-commerce website. Yeah. How do those two models differ? Yeah. Um, well, massively. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, look, I mean, South Africa is, is, is quite unique. Um, South Africa is, is a country that that it's compared to some uh, European countries, for example, mm. uh, in, in economic growth, in, in, uh, in, in a lot of elements, but then you have a big discrepancy in terms of, of income. So you see uh, that, that online is not for everyone. Not everyone has access to a credit card, not everyone has access to a computer, mm. and actually they prefer to go to the store and see the product. Okay. And so there is a market for, for brick and mortar, but then there is a growing online uh, reality in South Africa, and it's growing fast. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's behind behind Europe, behind the US, and, and some countries in Asia, yeah. but growing fast. So I think that is required presence. Yeah. But you need to be realistic with what you can expect online, and I think that a lot of people fail on that. You have an mm. expectation that you're going to be doing hundred thousand sales in yes. an online. Not realistic. Mm. We we put very very clear objectives so our initial objectives was that with the profits of the online uh, channel we will run online advertising so it's okay. like not making profit mm. but basically putting some tangible objectives and that are linked to the people that run the yes. online shop to promote more and that actually gets you know okay. the excitement going yes. and, and clear objectives and and, and and tangible objectives. Yeah, actually, in that first question, you answered like five of my questions <laughs> in one. <laughs> well, we can repeat it, the yeah. first one, and then go again. <laughs>